On this episode, we're partying in the island. Are you doing shots? We meet up with some new cruising friends for drinks, then we're off to explore. We took an hour drive off the beaten path. Do you want a cracker? Yeah, he's cute. He's a social little thing. Like chocolate? We'll see how they make it here. How's that? Like Before heading to a historic landmark where there's cows. In 1983, the Marines landed here, and this is where they invaded Grenada. It's a drag strip now, so there's only one thing left to do. You guys ready? It goes so fast. Then we're off to a tropical waterfall for some high jumping fun. Are you ready? Let's explore the island of Grenada. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the moon. For five years, we've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us as we head for the Caribbean. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Before we get too crazy, let's go back to yesterday when we visited a chocolate factory on the north side of the island. We took an hour drive off the beaten path and just ended up at the Belmont Estate. Had a great lunch with local foods and the rain finally subsided a little bit and we were able to hit the chocolate factory and learn about how they make their own chocolate here. Really interesting process and taste spectacular. Hello. 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 Oh, you want a cracker? <laughs> I want a cracker. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah, he's cute. He's a social little thing. Hi. Want a Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Is it your birthday? There were adorable animals everywhere. This was a chocolate factory with a few surprises. He's like, I will bite your finger off, chick. He has like a long finger. You're cute. I don't think we'll ever get used to how beautiful Grenada is. It's truly lovely. But we came for the good stuff. Oh yeah, baby. This is right up my alley. Our chocolate factory opened its doors in 2017. All of the beans that we used to make the chocolate is grown only on our farms, which is organically certified. We do four different flavors at the moment. Uh, beans, broken up, is what we call cocoa nibs. Okay. And that is definitely a superfood because it has tons of antioxidants in it, magnesium and potassium. It's said to put you in a natural good mood. Oh. And it's good for your heart and brain function as well. Do you want to try some? So if you are... <laughs> if you are into a healthy lifestyle, How's and you have like your power shakes in the morning, it's excellent. Oh, that that like yeah. <laughs> the cocoa nibs have different levels of chocolate based on what you use it for. Some are bitter, while others are more of a milk chocolate. First we tried the more bitter nibs, then it was time for the sweet stuff. What do you think? Down better? Yeah. I got some sea salt. You want to try some? That's pretty good. It was pretty good. Really good, actually. What a sweet destination. Pun intended. It was really cool. <laughs> so, going to Umbrellas, there was apparently a performance there tonight. She just texted me, Cara, and uh, we'll meet Cara and Eddie. Do some day drinking, should be fun. Brought the phones along to film. So, what's what? Are we gonna do a shot when we first get there and just kick it off? Are you doing shots? Would you like one? 
Because you messed up their boat names. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. Uh, sorry guys, but you obviously right. have the, the good end of the deal. That's what happened. You know what happened? I'm not doing that. You call us magic. Oh, thank you. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna make you buy a shot. Some shots. Here's your punishment. Uh oh, oh, oh. And the song play in the song. Cheers to magic. Brittany sent me to the liquor store to buy liquor, right? A bunch of them. And she put on there two fireballs. And I, so I was at the fireball thing and I was like, they have a gallon and they have a small bottle. I don't know which one. So I started texting and I was like, I'm about to grab both gallons, right? So I had two gallons of fireball on board. So now, ever since we've left, whenever we have people come on board, Fireball. we're always like, hey, you know, you know how it is, bring, bring your own, you know, you don't want to drink your stuff, hey, it's all good, let's drink Fireball. <laughs> so, we have, so now, everybody gets hammered on Fireball along the way, and radio started, radio calls start coming across. Fireball. So like, a boat will come into an anchor and you hear Fireball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still have Fireball left. Okay, back to exploring. How'd you like that bird? He was awesome. He like topped off the whole experience. Then he knew like right when you were saying bye, or right when we were leaving to say bye. Cute. <laughs> yeah, very. Where to now? I don't know, Trevor said he wanted to find a waterfall. Trying to find a waterfall? I wanna jump in. All right. We kinda need you to let us in. You want me to drive? No, I got it. Well, I opened your door for you. Thank you. I'll come. You have the keys? Yeah. I'll come open the door for you. It's okay, honey. It's a little snug back here. Well, all right. You might as well go ahead. Thank you. Sometimes you find yourself in a spot that feels surreal. How about driving your car on an old airstrip with rotting aircraft on it? Add a couple cows in the mix and a history that involves a U.S. Marines landing. In 1983, the Marines landed here and this is where they invaded Grenada and it says that there was only light resistance and they ended up taking over this airport, which is called Pearls Airport. So we are actually going down the runway strip and we ran into a cow that's in the middle of the strip. <laughs> he was fun. Did you know that Grenada was invaded by the Marines? Well, Army and Navy too, but hey, we're a Marine family. Pretty neat. The Marines landed on this airstrip during the invasion while the Army landed on the south end of the island. So what do you do with an old, unused airstrip on a tropical island? You make a drag strip, of course. We have one viewer that will love this. Rich, this one's for you. You, you guys ready? A, yeah, are you going to take us drag racing? Let's do it. Um, I don't want to hit any dogs or cows. All I got to say is hold on. All right, get ready, guys. Um, I don't want to... Uh, oh, we go so fast. <laughs> <laughs> we got up to like 30 kilometers per hour. Let's do that again. You want to do it again? Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. One of our goals while here is to explore every waterfall. We're off to Concord Falls today, just to let the kids play. Hey, how you doing? That's okay, man. Good. Is there a parking anywhere? Yeah, a big parking for Seven Island. Yeah. Okay, we have this the waterfall there. Yeah? All right. We come from the waterfall. Um, follow a nice pool for swimming and jumping. And All right. We have to follow up. But to get to the other, we have to hike. Okay. Do you guys want to do a hike now? Uh, pro probably it? not today. We're just going to swing by. Okay. okay. Uh, just check it out. So you could just go straight up and turn around. Okay. And you can come back right here and take a back. Okay, great. All right, thank you. This is the lower fall. It's easily accessible. You can hike to another fall here, but today we're just going to chill at the lower of the two. The cool thing is there are a few spots to jump from. We 
love seeing these two make memories together. What better place than a tropical waterfall? the 27 waterfall. It was great to slow down, take a break from the to-do list, and simply enjoy the moment. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. Look at that. The strap on. A CPAP, a safe, a bottle of scotch, uh, at least there's some, some water. We just got our sail back. It was like all the way here. Yeah. So we passed it here. The blonde bombshell beauty. Here she is. Too. Like, look, I've dried my hair. I, I would that. like it to be. I need one too. <laughs> hot lady, hot there lady, you know. one. That's right. Hot ladies. I'm looking down your shirt. Strainers have started clogging up a little bit. Our AC hasn't been as cold. Yeah, there you go. Whose idea was this? Mine? This is called the container park. <laughs> Oh, batteries are coming. Should be walking down the dock any minute. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Attack of the mosquitoes! And more laundry. We are off to Grenada's Brewery. Most of our fermenters will be started. Natural river tubing ever! Oh! Yeah, this is the the voiceover spot. This should be a nice overnight sale, or so we thought. Ah, the redoing of the lines. You know when you go ah. Um, what was that kind of ah. Um, it was like ah. Ah. No. Um. Ah. The redoings ah. of the lines after docking. Meaning like, you know how it's like ah. it's. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week. Oh, he's like, oh, he's like, ah. Look at him, he's like, yeah, crazy. Look at him. 
Tommy Lee? Like That's cool, right guys? Whoa! Whoa! They're like... They're fighting each other. Look at this! Like, oh, I got it! I got it! Oh, they like having each other. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he was like... Oh, he just pulled his leash! Look oh, he's got it! Look at him, look at him! They're wild, man!